It's a big one. Another big one. Hi, I'm Bernie Schultz, Elite Series Pro from Florida. Here in my home state, I want to talk to you about flipping matted vegetation. Roll, baby. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good fish, bud. Oh, good money. That's what you catch on a flipping stick. You swallowed that little tiny crawdad. You wouldn't think a fish that size would want a bait. You know, so small, but there's proof. That little tiny bait. And without that weight, you're just not going to get to these kind of fish. You know, that's a three-quarter ounce tungsten weight. You've got to have a big weight to get through matted vegetation or matted cover of any kind. And a, a big weight's essential, but if you're using tungsten, you've got a more compact profile. It slides right in. That's buried up, buddy. Okay, what I'm using is basically a, a small package. This is a three-inch fat baby craw from, from Yamamoto. That's who builds it. And it's got a wide body so it can accommodate a big hook and match the diameter of the, of the lead it's going to be positioned with. And just go through. And it's, it's just your standard Texas rig, soft plastic. You want to keep the whole deal as tight and clean as possible. What's cool about this crawl, again, is that little hook sleeve. It's subtle, but it's there. The hook will lay right in that little crease right there, just like, like that. And you stick that barb in there, just like that. Slide your weight down, and you got a nice, clean, straight package. That's the whole deal, and it's totally snag-proof. But you can see I'm hooking everything that bites it. That, that thing, when a fish bites, that'll collapse down. That barb is, is exposed. And that's the whole deal, just like that. That's all you want. There he is. Fish boy. Yes. Look at that bad boy. Get yourself a flipping stick, keep your package small, flip it with some stealth and confidence, and you'll catch fish like I have.